find Benjamin Beaker, and this is Seek Brian TV. Brian is sweet. Sweet Brian TV presents Did You Know Black Holes? Hello, kids. Today's lesson is on black holes. There's a lot we don't know about black holes still. They are very mysterious. Kind of like my cousin Bart Beaker. Well, it's a little bit complicated, so let's try and keep it simple. Imagine your kitchen floor has crumbs on it from breakfast. Now imagine you had a very good vacuum cleaner sucking up all the crumbs near it. The crumbs disappear. That's basically what a black hole does. The difference is a black hole doesn't use suction like a vacuum, it uses gravity. The gravity is so strong nothing escapes. And I mean nothing, not even light. That's why it's called a black hole. Black holes are created when large stars run out of fuel. Stars are like our sun. When they run out of energy, they can't support their own weight. The star collapses and becomes very, very small. Eventually, the star that used to be massive shrinks down to a size much smaller than those crumbs on your floor. The scary part is it still has the same mass as it did before it collapsed. The gravity is so great it will suck up anything near it. It's made of three layers, like Mama Beaker's chocolate cake. The outer layer is called the Outer Event Horizon. This layer is a little bit farther from the center of the black hole and therefore the gravity isn't quite as strong. And then there's the inner event horizon. This is closer to the center of the black hole and has a very, very strong gravitational pull. Imagine the strongest vacuum you can. That would be this layer. The center is called the singularity. This is basically what used to be a giant star and is now squished up into a very tiny spot. The black hole's gravity is the strongest here. So now you know. Sweet. Thanks for watching Sweet Science TV. Science is sweet.